a lot of you know me as Chaps, so you wouldn't know the Carlson, but it is Chaps. And the command actually asked me to talk about combating depression because, so, so just so you know, we had a lot of indicators on the command climate survey that many people had felt they'd experienced depression in the last year, and that's normal. In fact, how many in the, during your Navy career at one time you've experienced some acute depression? Raise your hand. Everybody should raise their hand because it's a normal part of life. Everyone experiences depression. So we're going to look at how do we combat depression and, and stress burnout. Now, burnout is actually um, kind of the opposite end of the coin of depression. So, you know, if you're burned out, you're probably going to have some form of depression. And if you're depressed, you're probably headed towards burnout. So they're related to one another. They're second cousins or they're cousins, okay? And so uh, how many have felt at one time or another burned out in the Navy? Raise your hand. Okay, majority. So we're going to look at how to combat that. Next slide. How do I do next slide? All right. So as I said, everyone will feel acute depression numerous times in your lifetime. It's simply a part of life. And the odds go up drastically when you serve in the military. Why is that? Why does it go up so significantly? Let me just show you a stat. About 5% of the world's population at any given one time is feeling some acute depression. But that goes up to 14% for those who have just during or following a deployment overseas. Why is that? Okay, anyone, raise your hand and give me an answer. Stressors, right? What else? Yeah, go ahead. Adjustment period, yes? Away from family. Away from family, especially if you're a geo bachelor or bachelorette. Anyone else? How many have been a geo batch in your career? Now raise your hand if that was tough on you. Everyone's raising their hand, okay. Anyone, what else? Why is that? Why does the depression tend to hit us harder than the civilian world, a little bit higher? Why? Yes? Yeah, it, so it's, the job itself is stressful, especially if you're in combat or you're MA, protecting life. The job itself, or you're flying F-16s, it's stressful. You know, landing on a carrier, I can't imagine doing that. Okay, it's, it can be stressful. Captain Matthew, he loves it. Right? He loves doing that, but it's, it could be stressful, especially if you're, you know, your engine goes out. Anyone else? Okay, you hit, all, you, you hit all the ones. We all experience depression. It goes up because we have a stressful job, and a lot of times we're away from family. You know, I've been away uh, on a couple deployments, and then 18 months as a geobachelor. I experienced acute depression. I had to, in fact, I was so depressed at one time and close to burnout I went out and talked to a Catholic priest because I myself, you know, I'm trying to give, give, give as a chaplain. I needed help as a chaplain because I was just burned out helping everybody else. So no one is exempt from that, okay? So next slide, there's a really interesting quote from a top psychologist. She says, depression is a devious disorder because all the symptoms it creates discourage you from completing the very actions necessary for recovery. And these are the symptoms. Lethargy, what's that? You just feel tired and worn out. Anger, okay, we have an XO with that call sign, angry, right? Anger, self-medicating, and that really is because of psychic. It's because of that psychic, the pain, we turn to alcohol, whatever substances, you know, Mountain Dew, to self-medicate. Or we eat too much, all right? How many have self-medicated when you're depressed? Okay, a good number of you guys. I, I've done that. Boredom and isolation. These are the symptoms. When you start seeing these things in your life, you're probably depressed in some way, all right? So what we're going to do is, knowing those symptoms, we're going to look at five combat tactics. So we're in the military, five combat tactics that will help us fight acute depression. Now, if I wasn't a chaplain, I would probably be a UFC fighter. No, no kidding. I've got a black belt in Marine Corps Martial Arts. Right here, I'll prove it. Okay, you don't want to mess with me. And I black belt in Kung Fu, so, you know, I, I'm going to give you some, some acute, we're going to fight acute depression. All right, I'm going to hold my keys there. All right. All right, I hope I don't kill this mic. We're going to fight acute depression. All right. Now. Yeah, that, that, that was, that's with the pulled hamstring, so I normally can do better than that. But, all right. I need a volunteer. Volunteer's gonna earn this Kit Kat. Okay, volunteer. Huh? Okay, come on up, come on up. Oh, you're perfect. Perfect, yeah. All right, now 
know, you gotta know. Wait. <laughs> yeah, wait. You gotta know something. When I came to speak to their their tenant command to introduce myself as a chaplain, so I did some I did some sample martial arts, and he was my partner up there. So now he wants now he wants uh, payback. <laughs> right? All right. So you can sweep me. Okay. So I. This is the move I did to him, so he's going to do it to me. Just don't break my back, okay? You want to okay? do it on the carpet? Yeah, the carpet, okay. So he's going to, I was going to be the one doing it, but now he gets, to, okay? So I'm going to do the green belt, kick, kick it, yeah, yeah, yeah. sweep, okay? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, all right, so this is the move I did to him, so he gets the payback. But I'm depression, okay? I'm depression, and I'm going to, you know, try to, get that this Marine, I'm trying to get this Marine down so he's not combat ready, he's not mission ready. And so I'm, I'm depression coming at him, ready, I'm gonna come at him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, so he, now he's depression, I, I get it, my turn too, okay. Ready? Right. <laughs> you just, just gun move, yeah. So he's depression. He's got a gun on me. This is depression. He's he's gonna he's trying to end me. <laughs> you want this yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. He's trying to end me. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna be like, oh no, depression, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, okay? But then really, I'm gonna take him down, okay? Down, okay? So try that again. Slow motion. Okay, we're gonna brock this. Take that gun. Oh yeah. Okay. And he's gone. So let's give him a round of applause. You get the kick that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right.